Hi guys, I'm Brooke and this is Pippa. And if you don't know us already, we travel full time out of my 2004 Honda CRV. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe, give us a like, leave a comment down below. It really helps us out. But today we are actually gonna talk about something that I didn't anticipate talking about because it's really not something I considered part of car life, but it is because it's my job and it's how I run this YouTube channel off of just my phone out of of the car. <laughs> That's right, I only use my phone to film, edit, upload. I do everything that involves my TikTok, my YouTube, my Instagram, and any brand partnerships all off of my phone. <laughs> I did a video a few videos back about like my typical day in the car and it ended up being a work day where I had to film and edit a couple of videos and I did get a lot of questions uh, because in that video it was fairly obvious that I just used my phone so I wanted to go ahead into how I do all of it in the car just from my phone and kind of give you a little insight into how I do this channel. I am not one to gatekeep or give any sort of like vague answer, but at the same time, I am still pretty new in this. I am not a YouTube expert by any means. I have only been posting on this channel for the last year and I have only been on TikTok for the last year. I don't have all these crazy tips and tricks and how to go viral and all of this stuff. I really don't know how to tell someone how to do that, but but this YouTube channel, even without going viral or anything like that, is a sustainable income for me. And I figured I would give a little bit of the FAQs of how to do all of this, especially because a lot of people think you need a lot of fancy cameras, laptops, editing software, all of this stuff to be able to be on YouTube when in reality you don't. So I was just like everybody else at the very beginning when I started this channel, I thought that I needed to have a camera, I needed to have all these SD cards and external hard drives and edit everything on my laptop so it would looked really professional and looked really cool but at the same time it made editing and traveling so much harder to do at the same time so I didn't do it for a long time if you look at the timestamps of my very first video I posted on this channel to when I started posting consistently there is a huge gap because some of that extra equipment does get in the way especially when this is your life right taking out a laptop every single time you need to edit a video taking out external hard drives all of that stuff it takes up space in the car and for me it took up a lot of power as well um i was only traveling with a 160 watt power bank um it barely charged my laptop and i didn't have a solar panel at the time so i didn't have the opportunity to just leave it outside all the time and charge it up i was having to charge it while i was driving and it just became like this huge obstacle that i couldn't figure out how to overcome until i just bought a second phone <laughs> I was always pulling out my phone anyways to film Pippa or cool things that I saw and everything like that and I was trying to constantly airdrop them from my phone to my laptop to insert into videos and things like that and it was just getting to be too many different types of formats of video and I was like if I am always pulling out my phone anyways why don't I just have a phone dedicated to content. At the time, my TikTok had really taken off and I was really doing Twitch a lot. So it was nice for me to be able to have a second phone to just literally dedicate to just content. And that's what I did. I bought an older iPhone SE. So that's what I'm filming and talking to right now. It's where all of my videos go. It's where all of my content goes that I film. Um, it's not a iPhone Pro 13 Max Max, all of the stuff. Um, I, it's an older iPhone. I would say this is like my personal phone and this is just an iPhone, I think 11. Obviously it's not brand new either. I wanted to not have to have a payment on the phone when I got my work phone. So that is why I chose something that was older so I could just buy one and put it on my cell phone plan and be done with it. I don't really believe people can tell the difference between me filming on my iPhone and a camera because I don't do like drone shots or all of these crazy scenic shots or anything like that. My channel is very realistic. It's very average level kind of filming, right? Like I don't need a $7,000 camera to sit and talk in my front seat of my car. I'm just not quite there yet. And I think that's what people forget when they want to start a YouTube channel. Like you need you, you can leave room to grow. It doesn't need to be perfect all at the beginning. And that was something I had to overcome as well. 
I also like the fact that I have a work phone and a personal phone, so it does keep things separate. So everything, my like TikTok app, my YouTube apps, my YouTube studio app, my editing apps, everything is all on this phone. And so when I shut it down at the end of the night, I don't have to look at any of it. I don't have to read comments constantly. I don't have to be doing all of those kinds of things. And it does help keep work separate from my personal life, even in such like a job I've picked now that my personal life does become part of my work, but I do like to keep it separate. I also like the fact that instead of having to carry around external hard drives and things like that, everything from this phone just goes straight into my iCloud. And yes, I do pay a little bit extra to have some extra storage to keep all of my footage, but at the same time, it just goes into the cloud and I'm not having to have all these external little boxes and things like that to store it. And sometimes I don't even keep my final product video or any of the clips after I'm done editing them because they are on YouTube. And as much as I feel like I'd want to keep things for memories, um, talking videos about how I like go to the bathroom and shower and safety tips and things like that, I don't really feel like I need to keep a copy for myself forever um, just in case YouTube ever went down. But I do obviously keep all of the footage of Pippa and me and the things that we've done on our travels, but I just keep that all in my iCloud. I also like the fact that since this is my work phone and I'm very conscious of it, I won't accidentally ever upload anything that should be personal from my phone. And even if that's just screenshots of personal conversations or things like that, or none of my banking information is attached to this, I have a different iCloud account. Um, I don't have to worry about accidentally uploading something I shouldn't or that people shouldn't be able to access or see. I also like that because I can log into my iCloud from my laptop, um, or my other phone that if there is some sort of footage or something I do need from this phone, I can just pull it down from the iCloud or I can just airdrop it to one of the others since I have Mac products. I also do a lot of kind of like time lapsey things and I like that the iPhone just has a time lapse built in that takes up way less storage than taking a like 10 minute long video and then speeding it up in editing. I can just take a time lapse. That's how I do all of my cleaning videos and things like that because I can always slow it down in editing instead of having to always continuously speed everything up with the time lapse feature I just can set it and forget it kind of thing and it doesn't take it up as much storage on the phone either everybody always wants to know what I use to edit my videos and I use splice I know that this is like super basic or something um, I've been told that multiple times that it's a very basic editing app it works kind of like iMovie I was used to using iMovie on my laptop and I think splice is way easier now that I've gotten used to it even than iMovie it doesn't glitch as much as iMovie does and it does have a setting where you can select where you want that video to go so whether it's YouTube TikTok Instagram etc they have settings for all of that so you can reformat your video really easily too if you wanted to I like that it also has music that you can put in that is copyright free and royalty free and so I've never had an issue using any of their music on the backgrounds of any of my videos I know that that is also an issue I do have a library from the like YouTube studio music that I've downloaded and just put onto this phone as well which makes things really easy but I've never had a problem using Splice's music I do pay to use Splice that's part of like one of my business expenses behind this channel I can't remember how much it comes out to but it's just like a couple bucks a week I think um, I know that that may not be feasible for everybody but at the same time um, for me it works better than a lot of the free editing apps that I've tried in the past and I just prefer it so at this point I am okay with paying those couple bucks a week a lot of people also ask about my thumbnails and how I do them I use Canva I'm sure that that is super common between a lot of people when I used to do hair and I had to do a lot of graphics and stuff for my hair salon I always use Canva Canva is something I'm comfortable with again it comes right on your phone I can just drop whatever picture I took right before I do the video and I can drop that in put the title over it I have all of my presets like saved on there so that's why all of my thumbnails look the same and have the same font and things like that you can like save your own like brand kit in there so I don't really have an issue with like having to start over every single time. I just like plug and play and it becomes like a very, very quick process. Even when I did like my power video where I had to edit um, like my pictures of my power station and make more of like an intricate 
for me YouTube thumbnail um they have a background remover in Canva if you pay for the pro and it just removed the background for me so I didn't have to go through and like actually del like cut out the power stations to be able to put them in the thumbnail it just makes it really easy um again like I said I do pay for it but there is a free version that you can use I know that there might be more questions about all of this but I don't really know I can't like very well anticipate <laughs> what people want to know so please leave any comments down below about how I do certain things that you want to know on this channel or like some of the like behind the scenes editing or business stuff I didn't know so many people would be interested in it but if you are like I said I love sharing information whether it's about car camping or otherwise and I would love to share it with anybody who wants to know but I just need to know which questions to ask so if you aren't already subscribed please do so it really does help me out and leave any of those questions below and if you haven't checked out any of my other videos I am a full-time traveler and car camper so I have all of the information that you're probably looking for already uploaded on this channel so go ahead and check out some of my previous videos and I will see you guys on the next one bye